Hello. This is the Flyers Listening Test. Test one. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. Do you like this picture of our camping holiday? Yes, but who's that man over there with his feet in the water? He must be cold. What? The man who's fishing? That's my uncle Bill. And did he catch anything? Oh no. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. And who are those two people over there? Oh, they're the farmers. They said we could camp in their field. The one next to the horse is called Sam. What? The one pointing at those black clouds? Yes, that's him. And is that your friend Jill, the girl who's reading a book? No, she's the one reading a map. Has she got glasses? Yes, that's her. So, where's your brother then? Well, my older brother, Paul, is the one who's cooking. The one holding a fork. No, the one wearing a scarf. Oh right. And my younger brother David is in the blue tent. But there are two boys in that tent. Oh yes. Well, one of them's his best friend. But he's the one next to the rucksack. Do you see? Oh yes. And can you see that girl over there with the purple sweater? You mean the one lying on the blanket? Yes. Well, she's my cousin Jane. I don't like her very much. Oh, why not? Oh, she always shouts at me. Ah. Now listen to part one again. And who are those two people over there? Oh, they're the farmers. They said we could camp in their field. The one next to the horse is called Sam. What? The one pointing at those black clouds? Yes. That's him. And is that your friend Jill, the girl who's reading a book? No, she's the one reading a map. Has she got glasses? Yes, that's her. So, where's your brother then? Well, my older brother Paul is the one who's cooking. The one holding a fork. No, the one wearing a scarf. Oh right. And my younger brother David is in the blue tent. But there are two boys in that tent. Oh yes. Well, one of them's his best friend. But he's the one next to the rucksack. Do you see? Oh yes. And can you see that girl over there with the purple sweater? You mean the one lying on the blanket? Yes. Well, she's my cousin Jane. I don't like her very much. Oh, why not? Oh, she always shouts at me. Ah. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Zero four double two three one four, Springfield Surgery. How can I help you? Good morning. I'd like to see the doctor, please. Have you seen a doctor here before? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay. Well, first, can I just ask you where you live, please? Oh, yes, of course. Twenty-five Hillman Road, Friendly. Ah,、oh, that's fine. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. And what's your name, please? 
It's Russell Taylor. Can you spell the first name for me, please? Uh, it's R U double S E double L. Thank you. And how old are you, dear? Oh, well, I'm nearly eighteen. It's my birthday next month, and I. So seventeen then. Yes, that's right. Okay. And why do you want to see the doctor today? Well, I do feel very ill. I've got terrible stomach ache, you see. It's really bad, and I've got a cough too. So I thought. Oh dear. Well, you can see the doctor on Wednesday afternoon. Is that any good? Well, it's Monday morning now, and I'm not well at all. I'm sorry. There's nothing else I can do. I'm afraid. Okay then. Now, what time would you like to come? Is half past two all right? Oh, I'd like to come a bit later if I can. Can I come after half past three, please? Because I'm at college, you see, and I don't want to miss my lessons. Oh, you're still going to your lessons then? No, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I'm afraid, I just haven't got any spaces at all then. Sorry. Oh dear. Oh well. Okay then. So you're coming to see us then? Yes, I think I'll have to. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. What are William's friends doing in the school holidays? Dad, it's so boring at home. Can we go away somewhere? Please, Dad. I'm sorry, William. I have to work this week. Can't you play with your friends? But they're all doing things, Dad. Well. What about Robert? He isn't going anywhere, is he? And he only lives next door. No, but his dad's on holiday this week, so he's teaching him how to play golf, and he's getting good at it now. So he won't want me to go with him. Can you see the letter B? Now you listen, and write a letter in each box. Oh, that's nice. Well, how about his sister Betty then? What's she doing? Oh, I don't want to see her. She's spending all her time in old castles doing homework for her history teacher. How boring is that? Ah, well, she is a bit older than you. She has to work hard. Well then. What about your best friend, David? Isn't it? Oh, well, he just loves sport, and he's going to that holiday club I told you about. They're teaching children ages ten to fifteen to play volleyball this week. He says it's really great fun, and he's made lots of new friends. Well, that sounds good then. Yes, but Dad, when I asked you if I could go. You said it was too expensive. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> well, now then, there's always your cousin Helen. I can't play with her, Dad. She doesn't like me at all, and she's busy with the family this week. She told me they all wanted to go skiing, but then Uncle Paul broke his arm at work. Didn't Mum tell you? So they're going to the sea now. It still sounds good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But what about some of your old school friends then? There's that really nice girl, Sarah. You always liked playing with her. Yes, I haven't seen her for ages. But when I rang, her mum told me she wanted to go climbing in the mountains with some school friends. But she can't because she's got exams after the holidays. So she's got to study this week. So she'll be in the library every day, and I'm not going there. Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do some studying, you know. No, Dad, it's the holiday.
Okay, then. There was that other old friend of yours. What was his name? Ah, yes, Richard. Perhaps he's free this week. Well, I don't think so. He just loves swimming, so he'll be at his club all week. They do races and games in the water and things like that, so I can't play with... Well, do you want to do that? That sounds like fun and it's not too expensive, is it? No. It's very cheap, I think. Shall I phone him then? Yes. Why don't you do that? Thanks, Dad. Now listen to part three again. Oh, that's nice. Well, how about his sister Betty then? What's she doing? Oh, I don't want to see her. She's spending all her time in old castles, doing homework for her history teacher. How boring is that? Ah, uh, well, she is a bit older than you. She has to work hard. Well, then, what about your best friend? David, isn't it? Oh, well, he just loves sport, and he's going to that holiday club I told you about. They're teaching children ages 10 to 15 to play volleyball this week. He says it's really great fun, and he's made lots of new friends. Well, that sounds good then. Yes, but Dad, when I asked you if I could go, you said it was too expensive. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> well, now then, there's always your cousin, Helen. I can't play with her, Dad. She doesn't like me at all. And she's busy with the family this week. She told me they all wanted to go skiing. But then Uncle Paul broke his arm at work. Didn't Mum tell you? So they're going to the sea now. It still sounds good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But what about some of your old school friends, then? There's that really nice girl, Sarah. You always liked playing with her. Yes. I haven't seen her for ages. But when I rang, her mum told me she wanted to go climbing in the mountains with some school friends. But she can't because she's got exams after the holidays. So she's got to study this week. So she'll be in the library every day, and I'm not going there. Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do some studying, you know. No, Dad. It's the holiday. OK, then. There was that other old friend of yours. What was his name? Ah, yes, Richard. Perhaps he's free this week. Well, I don't think so. He just loves swimming, so he'll be at his club all week. They do races and games in the water and things like that, so I can't play with... Well, do you want to do that? That sounds like fun and it's not too expensive, is it? No. It's very cheap, I think. Shall I phone him then? Yes. Why don't you do that? Thanks, Dad. That is the end of part three. Part 4. Listen and look. There is one example. Who is Michael's art teacher? So, are you going to art club after school today, Michael? Yes, Mum. It's really good. And the teacher's great. Do I know him? Mr White? He's a new teacher. He's quite young. Oh, you mean that one with long hair and glasses? Yes, that's right. And a beard. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where's the art room at school? OK, then. I'll come and get you when it finishes. Where's the art room, then? Is it next to the school hall? No, that's the computer room. You'll have to go straight past the hall and you'll see it there. 
It's next to the library. OK, then. I'll meet you there. 2. What time does the club finish? So, what time shall I come? Oh, I'm not sure. School finishes at half past three and art club starts at four o'clock. And the club's for one hour, I think. So you could come at five. Is that OK? That's fine. Three. What's Michael going to make at art club? So what do you do there? Do you paint things? No, it's much more exciting than that. At the moment, we're making toys. My friend's making a fire engine. It's really great. Sounds good. I thought I'd make a train, but then I decided a helicopter would be more exciting. So I'm going to make that. Great idea. 4. What's Michael going to use to make his toy? So, how are you going to make this toy then? Well, last week the teacher brought lots of different things to show us, made of card, to give us some ideas. And then we drew our ideas on paper. Oh, yes. Yes, and today we're going to make the toys with wood and glue. That sounds difficult. 5. Who is Michael making the toy for? So, are you going to give it to me when you finished it? You know, as a present. You, Mum. You're too old for toys. I thought I'd give it to Tom, but he says he doesn't want anything I've made. That's not very nice of your brother. I'll have to speak to him. Oh, it doesn't matter. So... Then I decided I'd make it for Sue. It's her birthday next week, isn't it? That's a great idea. I'm sure your sister will love it. Now listen to part four again. One. Where's the art room at school? OK, then. I'll come and get you when it finishes. Where's the art room, then? Is it next to the school hall? No, that's the computer room. You'll have to go straight past the hall and you'll see it there. It's next to the library. OK, then. I'll meet you there. 2. What time does the club finish? So, what time shall I come? Oh, I'm not sure. School finishes at half past three and art club starts at four o'clock. And the club's for one hour, I think. So you could come at five. Is that OK? That's fine. Three. What's Michael going to make at art club? So what do you do there? Do you paint things? No, it's much more exciting than that. At the moment, we're making toys. My friend's making a fire engine. It's really great. Sounds good. I thought I'd make a train, but then I decided a helicopter would be more exciting. So I'm going to make that. Great idea. 4. What's Michael going to use to make his toy? So, how are you going to make this toy then? Well, last week the teacher brought lots of different things to show us, made of card, to give us some ideas. And then we drew our ideas on paper. Oh, yes. Yes, and today we're going to make the toys with wood and glue. That sounds difficult. 5. Who is Michael making the toy for? So, are you going to give it to me when you finished it? You know, as a present. You, Mum. You're too old for toys. I thought I'd give it to Tom, but he says he doesn't want anything I've made.
That's not very nice of your brother. I'll have to speak to him. Oh, it doesn't matter. So, then I decided I'd make it for Sue. It's her birthday next week, isn't it? That's a great idea. I'm sure your sister will love it. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Hi, Sophia. Do you like this picture? Yes, it's really cool. The girl's dreaming about her birthday. Yes, that's right. Would you like to colour some things in the picture? Yes, please. Okay. Can you see the bowls on the table? Yes. Well, can you colour the one that's next to the bottle? Colour it pink, please. Can you see the pink bowl? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. She's got some presents. Yes,、yeah, she has. There's one on top of the fridge. Yes, it's quite big. Shall I colour that one? Yes. Can you colour it green? Yes, that's a nice colour. Two. Now, can you write something? Okay, but what shall I write? Well, next to the window, there's a space to write a word. Can you see? Yes, I can. What shall I write there? Write the word "dream" in that space. Would you like me to help you? No, I can do it by myself. Thanks. Excellent. Three. Look at all the butterflies on the girl's bed. Can I colour them now? Well, colour the one in the middle. No problem. But can I colour it blue? Yes, I like that colour. Four. Now I want you to write something else for me. Can you see the word "party" there? Yes. Well, can you write something in the space next to that word? Do you mean above the door? No. Can you write it in the space above the oven instead? Okay. But what word shall I write? Write the word "surprise" there. Can you do it by yourself? Yes, I can. Five. Now, look at the stars near the moon. Can I colour them now? Well, just colour the largest one. Okay, and can I do it orange? Yes, that's a really nice colour, and it's a great picture now, Sophia. Yes, I really like it. Now listen to part five again. One. She's got some presents. Yes,、yeah, she has. There's one on top of the fridge. Yes, it's quite big. Shall I colour that one? Yes. Can you colour it green? Yes, 
That's a nice colour. Two. Now, can you write something? OK. But what shall I write? Well, next to the window, there's a space to write a word. Can you see? Yes, I can. What shall I write there? Write the word dream in that space. Would you like me to help you? No, I can do it by myself, thanks. Excellent. Three. Look at all the butterflies on the girl's bed. Can I colour them now? Well, colour the one in the middle. No problem. But can I colour it blue? Yes. I like that colour. Four. Now I want you to write something else for me. Can you see the word party there? Yes. Well, can you write something in the space next to that word? Do you mean above the door? No. Can you write it in the space above the oven instead? OK. But what word shall I write? Write the word surprise there. Can you do it by yourself? Yes, I can. Five. Now, look at the stars near the moon. Can I colour them now? Well, just colour the largest one. OK. And can I do it orange? Yes, that's a really nice colour. And it's a great picture now, Sophia. Yes, I really like it. That is the end of the Flyers Listening Test 1.